fellow Ambazonians, fellow Southern Cameroonians, uh, this is Capo Daniel, your civil liberty activist, uh, coming to you with the No Connie Talk show. And uh, my topic for today is Dr. Sako, why use a gun to kill a small ant? So I am, as you can see behind me, I'm in, the, in my car park. I have to just uh, to do this live show because I have had unprecedented uh, phone calls and, uh, and uh, warnings and personal attack on me, on my life, people calling me to threaten me. And uh, this follows the, 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 the write-up that uh, Comrade uh, Mark Berata just published. And uh, in that publication, he talks about what is going on in the United Nations Committee for Decolonization. And uh, that has had some personal threats. In my, my life has been personally threatened. And I want to come to the Ambazonia people directly to explain what is going on. For them to understand uh, what is happening to me personally and what uh, my encounter with uh, Dr. Sako, our AIP. I decided to come now directly to talk to the Ambazonian people to know exactly what is happening. So that if something happened to me or my family before we, we run to a, attack uh, La Republic du Cameroon, people should know exactly what is going on. So. Uh, thank you guys all. I will not have time to play the music and the national anthem because, as you know, I'm outside. I'm uh, making this video from uh, the car park. So in any case, I will explain what has happened before I tell you exactly the threat that I'm receiving, the threat that my family have received, and my worried, and uh, so that you know the truth. As we know, all this is a coffin revolution, so we are not afraid of nobody. If I was not afraid of Paul Bia, it's not uh, uh, Dr. Sako that I'll be afraid of him. I'll explain exactly what happened, explain my communication with Dr. Sako, explain what he has done, what he's trying to do, and the threat to my life that is coming, uh, that I'm receiving now from members of the IG. So this may be shock to many people, but I will have to do it. As you know, I've given an ultimatum uh, of, uh, on the 15th. If uh, people do not take up their responsibility in this struggle, I think it will be useless for me to participate. That is my personal opinion. I, I, will, I will continue to do as much as I can behind as a private citizen, but I have to, these last days, I'll have to do my home run. So this issue uh, started up when um, when they, they made the publication, they, they, our interim president, he came online and he announced, and what he said was that he wants to announce to the Ambazonian people authoritatively that our country, not himself, he said that our country, the Southern Cameroon, have been officially invited by the United Nations Committee for Decolonization. And after that, that his uh, announcement, I was very happy. My, my initial response, I was very happy. And I was uh, jubilant. I went online live to, to applaud the effort as well as, as stated that I advised him that the interim government should not go alone. I actually recommend that they should contact uh, Carlson Anyangwe, uh, Harmony Bokba, uh, Godi Dinka, because we, our story already have some legal precedents and some court cases that they need to have into consideration when they are making their presentation. That was my advice I gave through, through the live show. I was very happy. When you hear good news, when I hear good news, I don't mind whether it is from, uh, from uh, Dr. Kwanga or it's from Maurice or it's from whoever. I am happy as an Ambazonian to hear good news. So I was happy. That was my initial response. But after I finish my show, normally as an activist, we do research. We do research for the struggle. We do research for our platforms. We do research on how we can help, how we can advise. So during my, after my show, I went on my computer to do a research about the, the Committee for Decolonization. So I, I opened their website, and on their website, I saw the, their agenda for this current uh, for this current uh, session. In their agenda, there was a list of 
their, 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 their topics. And on that list was not found um, Southern Cameroon or Ambazonia. And remember that when I was doing this search, my, my impression was that uh, Southern Cameroon was invited, not even the AIP, not even the AGC, not any other group, because the president, the, acting, uh, the interim acting president, said that our country was invited. He did not say that he was invited. He didn't say that the IG was invited. So I was surprised when I looked in the list of the countries, uh, the name of our country, Southern Cameroon, did not appear. Immediately, on one hand, I took my mobile phone, I sent a message to him directly, and I asked him, uh, Mr. President, this information that I'm hearing and looking at my computer, I cannot find it there. What is going on? So that was an inquiry I made to Dr. Sako directly. At the same time, after I wait for about 30 minutes, he did not respond or something like that, I saw the phone number of the website of the secretariat that says, contact us. That was contact information in case of inquiry. I placed a phone call through my phone using Skype to that office, and I make a general inquiry. I made just one phone call to that office. And my inquiry was, um, uh, Madam, it was a lady. I said, Madam, I am uh, a citizen of Southern Cameroon. I want to inquire why on your website you don't, you, there is not, there is on your agenda it does not appear the subject of Southern Cameroon, and we are expecting our representative to address your committee. And she asked me to wait a minute. She typed her computer, and she get back to me, and she said, Well. Sorry, Southern Cameroon have been declassified from this, community, from this committee. We do not have any information. Please, you can go to our website. And I explained to her that I was on the website and I couldn't find Southern Cameroon there. And he explained, she explained to me that Southern Cameroon is not among the list of countries that are being handled by this committee. It was a very friendly conversation I had with this lady, very friendly. She actually, I actually gave her my email and I tell her to burst me in case there is any latest information from the current session. I actually inquire about other countries that were there on their list, which one is uh, have chances to go ahead. I did not want to make it very obvious that I was just concerned about Southern Cameroon or it was not on friendly uh, phone call. That lady took my email and uh, after that, the AIP, he replied to me. He replied to me on a WhatsApp message, and he told me that my, my question line in the text message, he said that my question line is anti-revolutionary or something like that. And after that, he followed, he followed uh, up with a phone call. So the AIP called me. It was late at night. He called me in that phone call. He requested that I should uh, stay quiet on this subject. I should not uh, publish anything about this subject because his office is trying to do something. They have noticed a, there may be a loophole in that, com uh, that committee that I don't know or that I may not know. He cannot explain everything to me, but I should just hold on and give him two weeks. After the two weeks, I can then do any publication about this subject as I want. So on principle, and out of respect, I accepted without any question what he said, because it sounds reasonable. So I say, OK, if the president is asking me just to be quiet for two weeks, I, I don't know what is going on. Maybe he wants to do something there or what he wants to do there. I should just be quiet, and then I will not talk about the issue, whether he was lying or not. And I stayed quiet. But after that, the next day, he contacted some other activists and uh, pro push them to publish and talk about the same topic. That means they were now talking that they were now discrediting me like I was lying. And I, I, I sat down. It was not fair for me because I had agreed to stay quiet and not to challenge whether he's lying or not. But if he is still going ahead, even within the interim government, and pushing the other side of the debate, which is a public debate now, I didn't, I didn't feel it, I didn't think it was fair for me to stay quiet, but I stayed quiet anyway. And uh, later on, I received an email, a buzz from the, that committee, and the, that email, they said that they were, they just, she just sent me their press release, that there's a press release, and I went there to, to see the press release. And on that press release, I also now share it on my Facebook page, and I mentioned about this debate about 
it was it a lie was it not a lie so when i shared about it sorry when i shared about it uh, i stayed quiet and uh, i i knew and uh, i i received this um, this this message from mark barata this publication from mark barata and i also typed out a, a reply to him after that, I received many phone calls. Many, many people calling me from China in particularly. Many people, there is a group there, an IG group there in China. They, they call that group um, school. Many of them were calling me and they were threatening my life that I have called, I have uh, made many phone calls there and we have spoiled, we have made Sako uh, to, to uh, not to be given the chance to speak in that committee again. So, and I realized that Mark Barata had mentioned that uh, I champion phone calls to that office and for some reason it gives the appearance that we had made the office to cancel the the presentation with uh, the AIP, SACO. So I, I call Mark Barata and I ask him about where did you get the information that people have been calling that office because I just placed a single phone call to that office and they were very kind, they were very, it was not hostile in nature. And he told me that he did not get the information from that office. He got that information from the AIP. So Sako is the one who told Mark Barata this information. And I tell him, well, I don't know if somebody else had called that office, but what I know is that La Republic du Cameroon had objected in that committee for, for them not to speak. So it is possible that if they don't want to give them the chance to speak, it may be connected to objection from La Republic or any other person. I have no idea. And also the, the, the committee had also released uh, an object, a, a, a directive saying that members who are speaking there should not digress, which is a, a normal thing. So what I want to say is that um, our president, our AIP, should uh, stop uh, attacking activists. We should use our time to push for real, for real progress in di uh, diplomacy. This is not the first time I have had incident like this with the AIP. If he specifically tried to manipulate Mark Barata to put out a message that it is because of phone calls that we and I have championed to, to spoil what he is doing there, it is not just lie, but he is directing people to potentially attack me. The last time I had the, the, an attack from uh, my, my family was being threatened, by by one of the amber boys i, I published it up here i had seek uh, help in cameroon and they found out the identity of the person who was threatening my family i called dr sako personally and i told him mr president there is an amber boy who is threatening my family he knows me very well he knows my activity he's threatening my family and the response was from Dr. Sako. What he told me was, did your, did, did, who did he call? I said, the person is calling my brother and my father. And he said that, okay, give me the receipt of your family for my trip to Boya. Then I am going to call down one of the commanders to handle the issue. I said, for goodness sake, you are asking me for my receipt for my trip to Boya before you can help me? Is that, what, how we, is that the level we are going? And uh, one or two things, Dr. Santos have also said the same thing. You remember the, he had given an example of the IG using amber boys to threaten people and kidnap people in Cameroon for ransom. This is something not coming from me. It comes from Santos himself. There are cases where the, even the wife of uh, uh, Barista Ayambe, who is in prison, who was adopted together with Seseko, the wife was arrested by the Red Dragons. When she was traveling to through Lebialem, the wife was arrested by the Red Dragons. We, I did not release this information, and the brother his hands, the finger was cut off by the red dragons, even though they know that the husband is in, in jail with Seseko. So a lot of things are happening. When I get threat, people threatening me because they, they, they hear that um, I have called, people have called the, the, the decolonization to, to, cancel, uh, to, to cancel. It's a lie. It's a lie. They don't need to lie about people. I didn't call them many times. I made a single phone call. And if people start threatening people, this thing started with Eric Tato. They call them and then they go around threatening people, insulting people. If they keep up doing this thing that they are doing, a lot of good people who are in this struggle are going to give up. They are just going to leave it because they have made it impossible for us to be able to have intellectual um, 
conversation. I'm a gentleman, but I can also get dirty. I can also get into the mud and fight. But all this threatening, lying, inciting people to attack activists by Dr. Sako should stop. He should stop doing that. The last time he sent the, uh, uh, Irene, which, which, I, which I want to call her Jezebel, to come out and re release audios targeting me, insulting me, and doing this type of thing. He has been doing these things for a long time. It is not good at all. It is not good. We don't expect a leader to behave like this. He is the president of a country, for goodness sake. And if, in case he thinks that Ambazonians are like La Republicans, I know there are some of our people who behave like La Republic. You don't, uh, you don't question authority. You don't challenge authority. But where I live, I have been here for 16 years. Most of my adult life is in Hong Kong. In Hong Kong, lawmakers insult their president. They challenge him. It is normal here. So I will never be afraid of him. If he can send people to attack me, he can incite people to attack me and go around to lie about me, it's okay. I think it has to say more about his own personal character. That as a father of a nation, somebody sitting in the chair of Seseko will be inciting people to, to hate and misleading Mark Barata. You know what that lie did? For Mark Barata to go on air and say our president have been invited, for our president to go out and say that he, the nation have been invited, which is a lie. People do not understand the meaning of this thing. Those people of that organization, the member countries, they are listening to us. They are watching us. And when you do something like that, you lose credibility and you make the whole struggle be, will be tagged as a struggle that is based on fake news and lies. And people will not take us so seriously. People will not take us seriously. So my advice is Sako should stop following social media. He should focus on diplomacy and unity. Let me block this, uh, this Nyamfuka. He should focus on diplomacy, do the hard work for the people. The interim government is not their personal property. The interim government is a property of the nationalist movement. I am happy that Mark Barata, he's, uh, he had been misleading people by saying that the interim government is a government. But I am very happy that he has proven that he is an intellectual and somebody who can respond intellectually by coming out to explain to the people that the, the, the people that were left out of the Fort Conclave, it was a mafia, and he has clearly stated it the way it is. Because the interim government has been hiding behind Mark Barata and the few activists who have been going around insulting people for them to do many bad things. The interim government, as, Sac as Santo had said, have been behind many kidnappings in Cameroon. Our interim government, Chris Anu himself had said, those kidnappings were related to Atanganjipo or they were like activities directed by Atanganjipo. These are serious allegations. They were not made by me. They were not made by me. So if a, a senior member comes out and says that people who were kidnapped in Ground Zero, ordered by the interim government, this is not only the last time. The last time there was a guy, Sumoli, Sumoli who, from the AGF who, who was uh, arrested by the Red Dragons. Sako contacted me. I still have the screenshot. I can share it to the Ambazonia people. He contacted me. He sent the videos of those kids being arrested and at gunpoint, intimidated and, and uh, forced to, to make false uh, confession. He sent it, the, those videos to me and asked me to publish those videos. And I refused. And I said that those videos, those are kids. They were teenagers. We cannot publish videos of, uh, of children. It will show that our, our struggle is using child soldiers. And he said, ah, it is because it is not AGC. If it was AGC, uh, bad propaganda, you are going to publish it. So he was behind the arrest of those people as well. And probably the, the execution of those people. We know that two of those boys were dead. One of them, the, 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 the other one is in Kumba, and he has been crippled. I think he's paralyzed now. So we know the things that the interim government have been doing. We know what they have been doing. We are not saying it because we respect their office. We try as much as possible. To, to, to play out a, 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 an intellectual debate because this is war. This is war. War, people do not go, go, go to war with clean hands. There are dirty things that are going to happen. We understand them, but we try to make sure that we are all fighting the same enemy. But they should not use the advantage to attack people or use the power that they have had through the, the people on Ground Zero to attack people or threaten people. This should stop. This should stop. The threat, the threat that I'm receiving from the people of the IG now is troubling. It's troubling. 
and it has been directly linked to, to, to Sako. He's the one who gave that information to Mark Barata, to Mark Barata to publish it. And he knows very well that it is going to incite his people to think that people are um, trying to sabotage him. But the main thing he is trying to do is to divert attention from what Santos have said. Nicolas Santos have given troubling revolutions of corruption, nepotism, and a network of a, a cabinet beneath the cabinet. And there are other things that he has said it to, he has explained to other people, which we have on tape, that he has not yet said it in publicly, which involve communication between the La Republic du Cameroon government with members of the interim government. So we know all those things that are going on. We are not going to go down without telling the Amazonian people. We, I'm, I'm going to tell them. I'm going to tell them no matter what they do, no matter what threat they did, I'm going to still tell them. What I will tell people to notice is that remember the, 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 the solutions that was tabled by Monzo that we refused. The same, the same conditions are the same conditions that have been tabled by Camto. It's the same condition that have been tabled by, by uh, by the initial response from many people of the interim government, release this and that, release this and that. So we know that Seseko had refused this type of deal before. Maybe that was why he was arrested and put where he is. Maybe, I don't know. And they are using lie and deception, tapping into the anger of our people and the sensitivity towards the captive and those who are in detention to mislead our people. The other day, Chris Anno came out and was lying that they, there was a, a security and intelligence that our leaders in jail wanted, they wanted to kill them that the members of the family have been refused indefinitely not to visit them. Those are lies. I have spoken to people who have visited Seseko, visited Seseko in prison. They have seen him. Seseko is alive. All of our detainees are alive. The people who went there to visit them, the Cameroon government did not tell them never to come there again. They didn't block them indefinitely. What they told the family members were, go and come back on Friday. Go and come back on Friday. It is not yet even Friday. Yet, Chris Anu is going to come and tell the Ambazonia people that they have stopped visits to our, our detainees indefinitely. It is unusual that during a, a period of election like this, we expected that visitors will be visiting, uh, will be suspended for a while. But to use it to try to manipulate uh, public opinion and divert public attention to serious mismanagement, embezzlement within the interim government, that has led to death on ground zero. Why I am doing this thing is not because I want to embarrass the interim government. It is not because I want to shame them. No, I am pro, I'm pro IG. What I am doing is, is because I know that this mismanagement, this misappropriation, this embezzlement is causing us life in ground zero. If you do not believe me, go and listen to Santos. Santos, would they, would they complain that Santos is an AGC member? Would they say that Santos is, he hates the IG, he's a power monger? Majority of the people who are saying these things, who have left the interim government, they had power and they left. They have power and they left. Chris Anu, they have now cut off the, the, the SCBC, something that Seseko fought so hard. They have cut off the ACBC. The money now is being used by, by used to sponsor Chris Anu's TV that is now registered like the interim government uh, channel. And when I didn't say this one, not because I cannot say it, because if the, the TV channel that Chris Anu opened, the ABN or AB whatsoever, if it was an Ambazonian TV channel, then the board of directors who were managing the SCBC would have been transferred from SCBC to the new TV channel. So the fact that they didn't do it does not mean that we don't see things. So we are not saying a lot of things. It does not mean that we, we don't want to say them because we just think it's not necessary. But when there are things that are legitimate, we have to say it. Unfortunately, you guys may not have me long, long, uh, long around because I'm so tired by how, uh, not resp I don't know, uh, the way our people are responding. I am not used to, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an Ambazonian, but I've been living almost half of my life abroad. So I, I, it is very difficult for me to understand why people will always respond to, to intellectual challenge with insult and things like that. They will just come, go, move, confusion, division. It's very primitive. It's very primitive. Yeah, people should be reasonable. They should be thoughtful. I'm shocked. We are Anglo-Saxon people, but I'm really shocked of the level of our collective IQ. It's so low. It makes it look like we are not even ready for independence. We really have to be sure that we understand the, the, the gravity of what we are trying to do. 
because when we are fighting for something like independence we are in war people are dying in other countries if you eat money if you in china if you embezzle public money you will be killed they will cut off your head i know that some of those people they might not have even eaten the money they might have duped them but it is because they are not using the professional the people who are already used to doing this type of things they have put them aside and they are trying to do it by themselves it's not working so we had uh, we had tried to advise the interim government long ago i think if i had came uh, earlier and tell people before you give your money to my trip to boya i'm sorry there's a car i'm actually in the car park if you had come out and advise people before you give money to my trip to boya you have to demand that they put in place a mechanism to make sure that the money will be properly executed. People will just say that you want to spoil it, you are, you are against it. No, we say this thing is because we have experience in public things. I'm an activist here also, even in Hong Kong, I'm also an activist here. I participate in local politics. I vote here, I campaign here for politicians here. I'm involved in other pan-African projects here in Hong Kong and in other African countries. I was deeply involved in the Southern Sudan struggle. Um, I have a lot of friends there. I've been deeply involved there. So I'm an activist by nature. It's my instinct. So we, we will continue to do what we can, but the people have to understand that it is up to them. If they become gullible, they become so stupid. People are attacking me that I have called the, <laughs> the decolonization committee and sabotage Sako. When I did not, I called, make a single phone call just because he go and manipulate people. When they went to, they didn't just call the, the UNPO, they actually wrote letters to the UNPO. And how many people were outrageous about that? So we should be serious and we should be objective. We should not be primitive. We should not tend to insult because it shows a lack of uh, intellectual maturity. So every time you insult somebody who challenge what you believe or what you think, then you are very primitive and then you are very... Um... <laughs> but uh, it's amazing when I see it. It's very amazing. But you are all welcome. We are all one. I know that that is our country. We know that that is how we are. We have to just try to manage it and cover each other's mistake. Nobody is perfect. Nobody's perfect. We try to manage it. I don't take it personal because this is a public thing. It's not a private thing. I take it uh, public as well. And um, I try to do my best for my country. I have a lot of... <laughs> I'm not a perfect person as well. So that is just what I want to say. Uh, I will, on the 15th, Harmony Bogba, I want to thank Harmony Bogba for coming up and asking that we, we have to form a... We have to go back to the drawing board and see how we can restructure our our country our struggle and everybody who is a country head or you are belonging to those organizations that are in the country head you have the obligation to tell them that in the light of the santos revolution they must call back for another conclave if they, you do not then the blood of those young boys are in your hand the blood of those young boys are in your hand the people who have eaten those money or mismanaged those money they might have not have eaten it they should understand that it has cost life. They are forced people, inspired people, and sent them to go and produce hurricane and did not provide them with the necessary material and they were killed. Uh, it was directly linked to the inaction and the failure of my trip to Boya. They were killed. Because even though you may not send somebody to go and kill or go and fight, but you can inspire them to do so. You can inspire them to do so. <laughs> yes okay so i uh, thank you guys for participating and for listening to me to some people they always think that when you are doing what we are doing is because you have some benefit or is because you belong to some group or is because you want something other than what you have but i just want to tell them that it is not always like that it's not always like that i'm just doing my best i believe everybody is doing his best but the people we have to be very responsible we have to take our responsibilities seriously we have to know that there are consequences of our action. When the president lies, it is dangerous. When a, a president comes to the public and lies, it is dangerous. In America, they will kick you out of office. In Hong Kong, they will remove you from job. They will remove you from your work. So, and to go out and try to insult, oh, I've mistakenly blocked somebody. <laughs> I've blocked the wrong person. 
So to go out and incite people, to lie to people that I have called, I have championed people to call the, the, the organization there and they have stopped them there not to go there because I've called is, is pathetic. Dr. Sako should not do that. He's bigger than that. He's a pastor for goodness sake. He's a pastor. If he goes like that and he say like that and people come and attack me, <laughs> what will he gain? What will he benefit? What will he gain? This is not the first time I've, I've discussed with this, uh, it was this man I wanted to block him, this uh, Yannick. This is not the first time I've spoken with Sako and uh, I'm very disappointed every time. I'm, I stopped talking with him for a long time. I stopped talking to him for a long time because I don't want people to lie to me at my, in front of my face. I don't like it at all. I don't like it. They can go and insult and do everything, but so long as they cannot challenge me intellectually, then I win it. I win. I win it. I carry the day because um, if you have a point, you can actually articulate your point. Or either you are immature or you are primitive, <laughs> and then you cannot. You can go around insulting people. So thank you guys and uh, God bless you all. Have a good night. Keep us in prayer. Keep we pray for those who are in Ground Zero. And breaking news: we just heard that the the guys uh, General Nambere, who had who had uh, the custody of uh, the ADF members, they have released them. I think the ADF people are still complaining that why are they releasing them only after the election because they wanted to use those guys. But anyway, we have to be happy that they have released them. And I still call for dialogue between the ground troops let them talk amongst themselves and let them stop allowing the people who are in the diaspora to manipulate them so we are happy that they have uh, the i don't want to call the name of the adf guy who was released i have not spoken to them directly i'll try to talk to the generals on the ground general ivor and find out how they are doing and to try to follow reconciliation they should reconcile themselves they should reconcile themselves we are all one we are all fighting for the same people and to dr sako uh, I don't hate you, I love you, and I pray for you every night. May God bless you and give you wisdom and uh, give you understanding to know everybody's heart. And don't try to take criticism that I am criticizing the interim government for something else. Of course, I'm criticizing the interim government because I know that the interim government is the block, stumbling block against unity. And uh, Santos have clearly said that they don't want unity. We know that they were, they, they were just pretending and trying to take advantage of the fact that people want unity to collect money. They will pretend every time and then collect money after they go back and do the same thing. It is not good like that. It is not good like that. Me, they stop all that corny. Me, they stop all that corny. When I come together, we all Ambazon and they will be now one. When I come together, Sako, call, call your brother them. Call all of them. They come together on a joint hand. I don't know why you, why you deny for unite. I don't know why you fear and wait it. If not the people the way Santos and talk say they did they don't na, na, na um, shareholders them where they don't put their people inside that government. If not you, you fear them, come as I can talk them. You know if you pass we for handle them, you know if you pass we. I don't call, call their name for you, they don't do me waity. They don't do me waity. They don't do anything. If they can't kill me or they can't do anything, the other people they, they kill them for grounds, they don't give mommy, they don't give family. At least we could not say we don't die now for a just cost. We must be ready for pay the price for our freedom. So we must stand, we must do it to a believer. I do the things that I do them because I believe what I do them. And I do and I say I hate some person or I want to bring some person it down for or I want to bring some group it down for. I don't work for this struggle all my life. I don't struggle for build this struggle right from the time for Manchu BBC. Right from the time for Manchu BBC. We don't struggle so they don't reach this side. If I only can criticize the interim government, I because the season that then don't be the problem. Now they be the stumbling block. Now why do they do and so? At the point they are error, then I see me then correct them. Nobody say I want me then chakara. I know I not agree say me then dissolve them. I know I know want me then dissolve them. I want me then restructure them. Me all the nationalist group the way that they form them. Me then take back control. Put the right people the way they know the right things. They will do the right things. Otherwise they will do kind of lie lie people then lie lie people then for, for, for fake uh, fake their own progress, diplomatic progress. They will lie lie people then. How many initiative diplomatic initiative have the interim government done that has produced any fruit or any sign of any fruit? God bless you, Namah, go sleep me. Now, already uh, midnight, I, I, I don't can't stand up a pack, they talk, man, I know these step people that will sleep in my house. God bless you, now. Anyway, all people really they struggle for call me. Where they don't read that Mark Barata, he, he write up them fees, and I don't call that, that organization, me, then cancel, 
uh, Saku, that one a lie, na big fat lie. Na bi 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 lie we come up for hell. Saku, stop the lie. Saku, stop the lie. No man never call that place to stay then go stop you. That one a just completely lie. That one a lie. The reason why they stop you, me no go for there. I don't even know whether they don't stop you or not. But the reason we run here and I say La Republic to Cameroon object, then talks they even get even a tussle for inside our inside our hall because they talk so why they will left on a moon I can't talk for day. Now so run here. The ideas and the people then call call for day. Na, na, na don't lie. Na don't lie. When I stop that thing, when I stop them, when I play with people their life. When I play with people their life. When I play with people their life. You know fine, you know fine. I know that you are struggle there, so some people the way they get their agenda and for move power behind for power. They be done can't take over enter infiltrate we so one then they were in the activism they don't even call the name ambazonia when the one talks ambazonia they go talk say the the people call it ambazonia the majority of the people call it ambazonia they don't even call our, our restoration forces or our amber boys as we call them they go begin the tongue on on this one a rebel all those people then we know them we know it they do them we know it they do them now people ready to be the fight for 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 change power for 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 for, for La Republic to Cameroon. Paul Bia, the system, they talk that and say, inside our struggle, we get people ready to fight and change power. We don't see how the power they want to change, how they fight for go back. How they fight for go back. But we must stand, we hold grass, we make sure so we go reach, we go reach our independence. We hold grass, we go reach our independence. Me then stop that and say, go reach boya. We will start begin talking now and say independence. We want independence. So that we will not put ready if you open the mob talk. Them. All man begin talk, we want na independence. We don't want to go reach now for boya. We want na independence. One are independence. So may God bless you now. Oh now, God bless you now. And any man will be the word is saying as a man don't call me, they know me they don't left Sako me talk for the who know say that one I already lie. I already lie. If Sako go talk for the no be now all we go enjoy them. My boy I know Naya boya. God bless you now.